What is the best desktop laser engraver you can buy right now? In this video, I'm gonna be finding out if the Xtool D1 Pro 20 watt has any right to lay claim to that title. I'm not gonna waste a load of time going through specifications that you can read for yourself. Instead, I'll just show you whether this machine can do everything that Xtool say it can. I'll also quickly show you how easy it is to get up and running so you know what to expect if you buy one yourself. Full disclosure, Xtool sent me this machine for free, but there are no conditions attached, as is the case with any product I agree to review. If I don't like it or I find any faults, I'll tell you. If you do want to buy one of these yourself, then check out the purchase links in the description below, where you'll also find a discount code that's only available to you, my viewers. Xtool also sent me some accessories to play with, but I'll talk about those as I use them. The first thing I noticed about the Xtool D1 Pro compared to other machines was the way it was packaged. When you first open the box, you're presented with some nice smart product information, along with some test materials, which instantly gives you the impression that this is not just some rebranded generic machine with a different logo on it, like so many others that come from Chinese manufacturers. Xtool products are made by Makeblock, which is a genuine equipment manufacturer with their own story, ethos, original designs and ideas. They're also based in Hong Kong and not in China, if that makes any difference. The Xtool D1 Pro is a completely original design that you won't find anywhere else. As you unpack the parts for your new laser engraver from Xtool, you get the distinct impression that this is a company that wants you to have a good user experience from the beginning. Everything feels high quality and well designed. This feeling continues as you delve deeper to find the precision machined, colour anodized components that make up the D1 Pro. I received the golden red version which gives off some really strong Iron Man vibes and I really like the way it looks. But there's also a grey option if the red isn't doing it for you. Assembly is a little involved but very well explained in the comprehensive manual. I took my time but I had everything built and the machine ready to turn on within about 45 minutes. The feeling of quality continues as you assemble the D1 Pro. There are no soft plastic parts that wear out, but instead metal rollers that run on linear rails, which should last a lot longer and need practically no adjustment or setup because it's all been done for you. You do need to adjust the tension on a couple of belts, but again this is all very well covered in the manual. Once everything's built and you want to actually start using it, you need to think about software. As you can see, there's no screen on the Xtool D1 Pro. This threw me a little bit to begin with because normally you'd have a screen and some controls so you can drive the laser head around and then start and stop jobs that you've loaded on your SD card. However, like most areas of Xtool products, the whole procedure has been thought about a little differently. Despite having the capability of running jobs from an SD card on other machines, what you normally end up doing is leaving a laptop or PC permanently plugged in and running jobs from software like Lightburn. This is because you often find yourself tweaking settings between runs and moving the SD card between your computer and the engraver and back again gets a bit annoying after a while and you usually just end up leaving it plugged in. Knowing how users actually use their machines, Xtool have simplified everything. So instead using their Xtool Creative Space or XCS software, you can wirelessly connect your engraver and your computer and then send jobs directly. Then very simply, there's this single button which you press to start whatever job you've just sent. The downside to this is you're going to want your computer relatively close to your engraver as framing a job is one button press and then you need to return to your computer to start the actual job and then return to your engraver, press the button again to start the job running. This is only for XCS though, if you're using Lightburn or any other software then you can just start jobs on the screen like you can with any other machine. The XCS way took a little bit of getting used to but honestly I now prefer this method. You can get rid of some cables and have your computer sitting in a cleaner area away from dust and dirt that you might have in your workshop. The downside is you can't currently use the wireless connection with Lightburn. If you want to use Lightburn or other software, then you'll need to have a USB cable plugged in. I assume this is what I'd be doing because manufacturer's software is rarely as good as paid software like Lightburn, but actually XCS isn't that far off. When you get a little more advanced, you'll probably want to switch to something like Lightburn, but for anyone just starting out and even intermediate users, the XES software is really good. By far and away, the best feature of XES for me is the material profiles. All you have to do is import any image or text you want to use, then select your material profile from a drop down list, and then send the job. It really is that simple. Usually with a laser engraver, you have to run a whole array of test jobs and make detailed notes about what settings work with what materials before you can actually engrave or cut anything. With XCS, the profiles have all the settings you're gonna want, so there's no need for any test jobs. There's also a whole load of additional profiles you can add if what you want isn't in the list. If you want to go a little off piece, then you can do that too. Just select a user-defined profile and move around some sliders. It really is that simple and will save beginners hours of research before getting started. Another thing I really like about the D1 Pro is that everything comes in one box. Not only do you get the machine, but you also get safety glasses and test materials so you can start engraving on day one. 
Yes, there are some accessories you can buy, but you don't need them to get started. The first problem that I had was extracting some fumes out of my workshop. In the summer, I can just have the door open and have a fan pulling all the fumes out, but it's winter right now in the UK and having the door or window open is not an option. I explained all this to Xtool, thinking that I'd have to just decline the review, but instead they sent me an enclosure. I'll do a separate video on this, but basically it just velcros around your machine and has an extractor fan to pull away any smoke or fumes. All I had to do was 3D print myself a couple of ducts and then connect everything up to an extractor vent in the wall. Now everything can be extracted out of my workshop while keeping me toasty and warm. Perfect. The only downside I found with this setup is that the button that you need to press to start and stop jobs is inside the enclosure, so you have to keep opening and closing the lid to start and stop jobs. I can't really see how they could have done it any differently though, so maybe I'm just trying to find problems. To set a job up, you just need to adjust the height of the laser so that it's the right distance from the workpiece. For this, there's a handy flip down distance gauge so you can't get it wrong. If you want to cut all the way through something a little bit thicker, then there's this separate adjuster on the other side where you can lower the focus point of the laser to help you cut through. So using XES profiles and with my new vented enclosure, I set about testing Xtool's claims about what the D1 Pro 20 watt can do. In short, yes, it can do it all. The 20 watt output laser power is possible as there are four 5 watt lasers that are all aligned so that they are focused in the same spot. What this means is that there's more power to not only cut through thicker materials, but engraving jobs can be done quicker too. As there's more power available, the laser doesn't have to stay in one spot as long to make a proper mark, so it can move the head quicker across the material. This time saving does come at a higher price though. Unfortunately, the cost of a laser engraver is pretty much proportional to the amount of power it puts out. Therefore, the 20 watt D1 Pro is around twice the price of the 10 watt version. The good part is that the only difference is the higher output. So if you don't need to cut thicker materials or you don't mind engraving jobs taking a little longer, then you can opt for the cheaper version. This way you still get all of the other benefits, but at a much lower price. If you're planning to use a D1 Pro to make items to sell, I would advise getting the more powerful 20 watt version though. The extra time saving will pay for itself. The 20 watt version that I have will cut basswood up to 10 millimeters and acrylic up to eight millimeters in one pass. It'll engrave stainless steel without any need to treat the surface first. And if you get the settings just right, it'll even engrave colors on some metals. I couldn't get it to leave a mark on raw aluminum or aluminum, but it does remove the anodizing very well for some fun projects. I really like the finish on cork, so I used it to make a few presents for people. Engraving on slate is very simple if you just put a quick coat of clear coat on first, and you can even engrave on glass if you use a dark color of paint and then remove it after. It is possible to cut some metals with this 20 watt model, but you may get some warping with the heat. It does open up some possibilities for some interesting projects though. The main reason why a lot of people will want to buy a desktop laser engraver is for cutting and engraving wood. The D1 Pro is great at doing this as you'd expect. One accessory that Xtool didn't send me was a honeycomb bed. If you plan to cut through wood and want a clean backside, then a honeycomb bed is a must in my opinion. It allows the burnt material to pass through and not stain the back of the job. This works especially well if you have an air assist pump too. The D1 Pro is supplied ready to accept a feed tube from an air assist pump and luckily they sent me one of these too. As with all of the accessories I will go into more detail in future so drop me a comment to let me know what you want to see. Basically what an air assist pump does is blows air down onto the spot where the laser is focused to blow away any debris so it doesn't block the laser but also keeps the work cleaner. I switched it on whenever I was engraving or cutting anything that removes a lot of material and it works really well. The last accessory that Xtool sent me is this RA2 Pro rotary attachment. This is an awesome bit of kit that allows you to engrave on practically any curved surface. It's described as a four in one tool as it can be configured in many different ways to enable you to hold and turn all sorts of weird shapes. It plugs into the Y axis stepper wiring which stops the laser head moving back and forward and instead turns the roller while the head moves left and right. There are also screw in extendable feet to raise the frame higher for when you're using the rotary attachment. I was really impressed with this rotary attachment and I'll go into more details in another video. But if you want to engrave on curved surfaces, you won't find much better than what Xtool have designed here. It really does do it all. The D1 Pro has limit switches to stop the head crashing into the frame, but also to give you a reference for absolute positioning. Using these with XCS is clunky and needs refining, but it works really well with Lightburn. To help aligning jobs with XCS, I burnt this grid onto the surface my laser sits on, which is from Buster Beagle 3D, that I've linked to below in the description if you want it. When it comes to safety features, there's a flame detector which turns the machine off and sets off a loud alarm should a flame be detected. 
By default, it's set to maximum sensitivity, but you can turn this down in the XCS software. There's also a tilt sensor, so the laser will shut off if for any reason you tilt your machine past a certain point. The laser is also surrounded by a light filtering shield, which I prefer to the little window you get on some other models. You shouldn't rely on it fully though, and safety goggles are a must for anyone in the same space as a laser engraver. As always, let's look at some of the pros and cons for the Xtool D1 Pro 20 watt. On the positive side, I've got a pretty long list. Firstly, it just works. In combination with their XCS software, once you've built the machine, you'll be laser engraving or cutting within minutes. This was one of my biggest frustrations when I first started laser engraving. I had a tool set up ready to go, but I had no idea what settings to use to avoid burning down my house or just ruining my material. With Xtool, that's all taken care of with their supplied material and standard profiles. Just import an image, select your material from a dropdown and crack on. The Wi-Fi connection is really useful too. Once you do outgrow the more limited free software, you can upgrade to something like Lightburn, where you'll be able to create much more complicated jobs and get the most out of your machine. There's also a huge amount of information on the Xtool website, where you'll find a beginner's guide, blogs, how-to guides, and much more. I'd advise going to have a look at their website, even if you don't plan on buying one of their machines. There are a huge amount of resources for anybody interested in laser engraving, and they even have their own YouTube channel. There really has been a lot of thought put into the user experience with the Xtool D1 Pro that you don't normally get with hobby laser engravers. In fact, I'm not sure I'd even say this is a hobby level machine. With a couple of accessories and some creative ideas, you could very easily use the D1 Pro and set up your own business. There are more accessories available than I have too. Most notably, there's a frame extension, which more than doubles the Y axis, making larger jobs possible. There's also a smoke purifier if you want to catch and filter all of the particulates that are in the air that you pull away from the machine. If you do filter everything, then you can do away with the extractor vent, and as long as you have the enclosure, you can run your engraver inside without breathing nasty fumes or have everything smelling of burnt wood. Maintenance on the D1 Pro is really easy too. All you really need to do regularly is clean the lens, which is simply a case of sliding the laser module up and away, and then undoing one screw to remove the lens cover. When it comes to negatives, I actually really struggled to find anything that matters at all. Putting the D1 Pro together is a little bit more complicated than other machines, but the manual is so good that you won't have any problems doing it, it will just take a little bit longer. The lack of a screen may put some people off, and if there's no way you can run a computer in the same room as your laser engraver, then you're really not going to like it. To make the D1 Pro work well with their enclosure, Xtool have designed everything to be inside the frame. This is great for aesthetics, but I don't really like the motherboard being exposed to any dust or smoke that comes off some materials. If you're using an extractor fan and air assist, then you have to turn each one on manually. The software doesn't do it for you. This is a little annoying and I can see myself building some sort of switch panel to put everything in one place in future. Also, I think laser engraver manufacturers are missing a trick by not including at least some sort of honeycomb bed with their machines. In my opinion, this is the most important accessory to have if you plan on doing any kind of cutting. The only thing you get with the D1 Pro is a small sheet of aluminium or aluminum, which will protect your desk or bench, but it won't stop you getting a messy backside. If you're going to want to cut anything, then budget for a honeycomb bed as well when you buy your laser engraver. As with everything I've mentioned, there are some good options in the description below. So the Xtool D1 Pro is an extremely capable machine that looks great, is a joy to use, and gets great results. Is it the best diode laser money can buy? I'd say very possibly. You won't find better build quality, functionality, or support anywhere else. If you need more power, then Xtool have just released a 40 watt laser module that you can upgrade to. If not, then picking up a 10 or 20 watt version of the Xtool D1 Pro would be a great investment in your hobby or business. Don't forget that I'm gonna go into more details about all of the accessories I've mentioned in this video, so hit subscribe if you don't wanna miss them. I also have some interesting projects on the way which will combine laser engraving and 3D printing, which will open up some new possibilities. If you have a D1 Pro or any other Xtool machine, then drop me a comment down below to let me know how you're getting on with it. If you want to see another video about laser engraving, then click here or click here for another video you might like. Thanks for watching.